All right, my friends, we have Elder Fairy here for us, the new cookie with the latest and greatest update. And I'm excited to give you the free to play player's guide in order to get yourself an Elder Fairy cookie here. So thank you for tuning in as always. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to like and subscribe and other ways to support. On top of that, if you got a question or comment along the way, let me know and feel free to join us in the Discord server. I know several of you have already posted Elder Fairy Cookie before I even put this together. Good for you. Now, with that, we got a lot of great things for you in store for today as a free-to-play player, just like myself. Down below, you can find all the timestamps as we talk about this event and all the tips and tricks to help you succeed, maximize, and get that guaranteed Elder Fairy cookie right there for you today. So thank you for tuning in. Let's get into it here today. So Elder Fairy cookie is the latest and greatest super epic cookie here, a defense cookie, a frontline cookie, um, with our third release, essentially of the third anniversary here as we moved into Beast Yeast. Now this cookie certainly packs a punch and is one of the reasons why I wanna go after this. If you've watched some of my episodes before on these things they are achievable we did this for white lily i have proof we've seen it that's why we pull these together for you so a couple things about this here um again elder fairy is a pity system here so once you get five thousand um of our pieces here um you're going to be able to get your elder fairy so in order to do this your super epic gotcha you pull cookies soul stone soul course from the super epic gotcha and obtain super epic points regular mileage points will not be awarded so keep that in mind um and this is something that we're starting to see more common they're not doubling up if you've watched the uh rainbow cube pulls that we did for pure lily as we like to say um costumes um you saw this as well so after the event is over the remaining event currency will be converted into coins and unused super epic points will be converted into an equal amount of mileage points now super epic points and rewards collect super epic points at the same rate regardless of the cookies promotion or ascension status collect 5,000 super epic gotcha points for guaranteed future featured uh, super epic cookie the points will no longer be awarded after that if you have already maxed out your featured cookie by then you will receive a super epic cookie choice chest instead so very very big um, for you to know now a couple things here on this one in particular each one will give you more points uh, between the common the rare the uh, epic super epic and ancient legendary those kinds of things now here are the probability breakdowns so that you're aware in order for you to pull a super epic elder fairy here you do have a almost a 0.4 percent chance so almost one out of every 200 pulls um in order to get that little higher um typically the trade-off here is that um if you don't pull over that or you'll pull over that but not get the elder fairy cookie that's kind of the trade-off here in terms of how that works from a probability perspective just so that you're aware um a couple other things here you do see that super epic epic at 21.4 percent it's a little little bit higher than typical typically um, it's about 20 or a little less 19 so we do have an increased chance of that because of everything else here um, which is awesome 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 um, and great to know and then the uh, fairies elder cookie soul stones here as you can see here are the probabilities and chances across each of those same thing for everything else you do have almost a two percent chance for that so about one out of every 50 pulls um, you should be getting a soul stone as well so those are all the key things to understand around this. When we start pulling, you can see exactly um, what the breakdown is on some of these items. However, the big thing about our free to play guide is how do you get the silver insignias here in order to get this cookie um, and be successful. So a couple things around this, the silver uh, insignias, um, you do have daily missions. You absolutely make sure that you're doing this stuff every day we got a few left and only a, a, a few minutes left in today um, to get it done so i certainly need to do it and take my own uh advice and i will absolutely do that however i want to get this guide out for you today first and foremost so those are all the daily missions they line up very very well with everything else make sure that you're paying attention to all these other pieces here because there are a ton of things um, they tend to stack as you can see over time so make sure that you're taking advantage a lot of these things tend and typically tend to be <coughs> excuse me a lot of the daily stuff that you're already going to be doing so just pay attention to that um i always like to work backwards as well this is another thing that i like to share complete the silver guardian of the seal elder fairy cookie event missions the more missions you're going to get 
completed, the more stuff you're going to get here, which is very important. Trade ships, seaside marketplace, guild relics, relics to museum, guild battles. Um, lots of guild battles there. Produce something in Magic Laboratory, Cookie, Gotcha. All these are the big ones, so make sure that you're doing it um, because it really adds up quickly and it's going to allow you to get the Elder Fairy. So that's the first and foremost important thing here is making sure that you're getting through the Elder Fairy cookie missions um, to meet the Elder Fairy cookie. Absolutely do that. Now, a couple of things here in the Silver Kingdom gifts. Each day, just by logging in as well, you will get an opportunity to get some more right here. As you can see, another thousand for you. Um, to get there and be successful as well. I would say, given other past events, we're gonna need about 250,000 of these um, to give you a good idea of what it's gonna take to pull Elder Fairy. That's gonna be probably plus or minus 50,000, depending on the pulls, those kinds of things, or you can obviously pull Elder Fairy. Um, you also have the Elder Fairy Pass. Make sure you're completing these daily missions as well because the pass rewards will give you uh, opportunities to get more of the insignias as we saw here with silver insignias um, and set you up for success again to continue to get this. If you are a play to play, pay to play player, um, certainly you can buy the pass and that will help you um, there as well. Additionally here, we have the Elder Fairy Cookie is here. All hail the Silver Guardian. Try out Elder Fairy Cookies, Guardian Gotcha and claim more gifts. So the more gotcha that you're doing, which is great, you're obviously gonna get more here. Um, here you have 300 pulls to get 4,000. So that kind of gives you another uh, tip and trick. We also have the Kingdom Battles here. Um, right here and right now, you will see more participation in your Kingdom Battles is going to give you more of those insignias as well. And doing 1.5 million is gonna give you more as well. I've only done <clears throat> this many so far 51,000 total contribution um so make sure that you continue to do that we have a great guide starting guide for you um so that you can be successful in the fairy kingdom battle as well um and then we obviously have other events that will pop in um we still have our old beast yeast and then everything else now never fret and never fear because when it comes to meeting the elder fairy cookie is here um, a couple of other things that I do want to call out. Um, first and foremost, in your general gotcha, uh, you can get Elder Fairy. So if we do go look at Matcha Cookie here, um, you can see Elder Fairy is already in there at 0.016% chance. We do have the boosted chance. However, again, this can help you out in some of the regular stuff. Wanted to call that out in terms of availability. And then the other thing to not forget is your little inbox, just like with all the other past previous events. They tend to send us... Um, some of those additional rewards and logins uh, pieces for Silver Insignia to help you get closer to doing this. However, the best thing that you can do to succeed as a free-to-play player and get Elder Fairy Cookie is the dailies and complete the main event and then paying attention to all the other events to get there. I have faith that you can do it just like me um, by collecting all these insignias and then getting there. It's not a perfect chance because it's a plus or minus, but certainly some of that probability is calculated into these different pieces here in order to help you get that Elder Fairy cookie. Um, super epics have tended to be easier than the Ancients Legendaries um, and some of the other things as well, so you can keep that in mind. Um, White Lily was right on the line. Um, however, I was able to do it um, so you can as well, and which is why we have these guides. With that, my friends, that is the Elder Fairy Cookies Guardian Gotcha for you as a free-to-play player and how you can get this cookie as a free-to-play player um, by participation and lots of different ways that we've outlined to help you get all the silver insignias that you need to be successful and get Elder Fairy Cookie here. If you still have a question, if you got a comment, let me know. I'd love to hear from you and feel free to join us in the Discord server, my friends. On top of that, Thank you. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community here as always. And thank you to all of our members. We do have memberships available to you. It gives you a priority response. Um, other great things like emotes and icons and other interactions. So thank you to all those supporters. As always, I really appreciate it. Um, on top of that, we got affiliate links. You can check those out. Lots of cool things, fan art, other different pieces here um, for things for you to use and get. Um, and then lastly, all of our socials at me chat me stay connected my friends have you got elder fairy already post in the discord server like everyone else because i'm catching up but we have the guide to do it and be successful as a free to play player so with that get out there get collecting your silver insignias my friends and keep on running we'll see you soon